Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and welcome to 2018. Uh, um, happy New Year's. Been a little away for a bit, busy with family, doing things, and we'll honestly just generally kind of being lazy. Eyeballing new cameras with higher definition and, uh, you know, stuff. So, welcome to 2018. I mean, 2018, I mean, New Year's is... An interesting thing because generally all you need to celebrate New Year's is to, uh, well, not die. So, yeah, congratulations on, uh, you know, still being here. You're an awesome person. You're cool. And, uh, all that good stuff. So, 2018. What are we going to do 2018? Well, I've got my gear. I've got some upgrades. 2018 should be a bit more interesting year than 2017. Hopefully. I know a lot of people didn't care too much for 2017. I didn't get it nearly as much. Airsoft as I wanted, and my SR-16 is down, gearbox is actually over there, disassembled, because the spring broke. And gearboxes, I mean, more moving pieces, more broken parts, so we'll be upgrading to HPA this year. And hopefully the parts will get here sometime in January. What we're looking at is a Polar Star Jack, and we'll connect that to just an absolutely enormous, was it, I'm dumping way too much money into this, the tank alone, like an the Super Light 2 Ninja 77 by 4500 gas tank. It's a pricey little tank, but it basically means I'll seldom ever have to refill, and we'll basically be able to shoot for days before I need to get the tank refilled. So that's cool. That'll give us lots of firepower. But while the SR-16 is down, we're still going to be going out to play the 14th of yeah, I still got a bit of a cold. I haven't been able to exercise or anything for like the past week and a half. I kid you not, you go, when you're 20, and listen listen closely all you youngins, when you're 20, you catch a cold and what, two, three days, you're fine, you have a bit of a runny nose, you beast through it. You're out there in the morning at like 5 a.m. still running, you're like, ah, it's a whatever. I mean, you, you get, I'm 29, I'm going to turn 30 this year. You get at that 30 point, mm, you go from the two, three days to like, two weeks of just being sick with a cold a year. You can't do anything. It's there with a runny nose. You try to do a bit of PT and you're like, ah. And the next day you wake up, you're like, oh my God, everything just hurts. And, and you get to go to work after that. And work involves lots of moving things. So you get even more sore. And you get it like 70% of your sleep economy. So yeah, let's talk. Let's start 2018 off with talking about how old we are. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we have the grenade launcher in the SR-16. We've got a uh, actual. I wanted to do a review on this, but I want the gun bag together first. We've got an actual. This is a. It's nothing too fancy. It's a uh, FMA company, so Taiwanese. Peck 15 box, and it's got the light, and it's got the laser. Bow. So. It's cool. It'll mostly be a night game thing. It won't get too much use, but that light is bright. For an FMA product, I was expecting something more basic, but the laser... Not, don't shine lasers at people's eyes, by the way. Just don't do it. Don't. It's a bad idea. What you can use the laser for is if you go to a shooting range like Spark has out here, and you want to shoot targets faster. Lasers, dude. The less you have to, the less you have to struggle with the aiming. Get those targets faster, faster speed. Do it. So yeah, lasers are useful. The light's mostly useful for night games. Again, don't shoot, don't shine lasers at people. Shine lasers at targets. Yeah, so that's that advice. I'll do a review on that because it's a lot of fun. And upgrading from this little fake peck box that looks cool to an actual light saves a lot of economy on space and makes shooting more fun and everything. So there's that. So for the 14th, Fireteam Arboreal Horror will be rolling out. We've got our M870 Tactical, which I have yet to use in a game. I got this like six months ago, and uh, I've never done anything with it. So shotguns are cool. We'll be using this for a game, especially when we're waiting for upgrade parts to come in. And we got our also super powerful light on here, because... Okay. I'll put it out there. Two most important things you can have on a weapon. One's going to be a light, and two's going to be a sling. So if you don't have a sling, then you can't use your hands to do anything else, because you got to keep holding your rifle. You don't want to put your rifle down, 
And yeah, keeping also being able to sling your weapon around your back, climb ladders, do all that fun stuff. Important. And the light. The light's important because even during the day, if you go into a dark building, I mean, even while your eyes are still adjusting, and even if you got the, it's the shades, the shade lenses on your ESS, whatever eye pro you're using, hopefully ballistic rated, you still want to be able to see. Because if you go into a room and your eyes are adjusting to the dark, and you've got shades on, you're walking to a room and there's just blackness, and you're like, oh. And everyone else who's already in the room is adjusted, they're going to see you walking in and look like a numbnut, so have your light on. Just, just do it. It's good for you. Um. Also, if you, have another, if, you, if you don't follow Thumpy and his 3D tactical airsoft news, you're missing out. Just, we'll do a, little bit, a quick little reminder. I don't have too much time. We'll do a quick little reminder. Full Steel Eye Pro. I mean, Japan has their own weird little things where you can just wear like normal glasses and stuff, but don't don't get shot on the side of the eye. Don't lose an eye. And most importantly, if you're wearing full 3D eye pro, I won't feel bad when I shoot you in the face with a grenade. Especially, the last thing I want to do is shoot someone and have a BB get hit in them in the eye, and then they go down and they stop the game, and someone has to ride home in an ambulance. They're like, oh no, airsoft isn't safe because you didn't wear full seal eye protection. So, don't ruin the sport for everyone if you're wearing full seal eye protection. And also, always... Always. This one's not a requirement, but this one is highly recommended. Wear some type of face mask. Guard your teeth. And those, I mean, it helps not to have anything piercing your nose, and I like to protect my cheeks because I have to go to work the next day after they're soft and I still want to look pretty. So, guard your teeth. Well, they make really small pieces, they make larger pieces, they make full futuristic halo nonsense helmets and stuff, which, I'll be honest, I would wear the most, a lot of people don't like, eh, I can't line it with my shites, but no, 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 guard your teeth, it, it also has the psychological benefit if you're out there and you're like, because when you're playing without them, you're like, if I get shot in the tooth, it's going to suck, and you don't want to move, you don't want to get shot, because it could be in the tooth, and it's been close before, before I finally, they made the soft cheek one that I'm more comfortable with wearing. You learn things as you go on. You do stupid stuff when you're younger and less educated. But yeah, guard your teeth. So you'll have close calls. and I mean, if you do knock out a tooth, you're going to be all sorts of salty. So, And the person who knocked out your tooth might feel bad. Probably not, but, you know, maybe. Kind of your fault. So guard your teeth for full steel protection because much like in paintball, you want to protect those things. I mean, they don't require the face mask in airsoft for some reason, so when people get their teeth knocked out, they get uploaded to the internet and they go, ah, I lost my teeth in airsoft. It's so hard being an operator. And then everyone else in the paintball community, not hating on them, I actually played a bit of paintball before. I'm actually trying to play some more paintball this year. It's another fun thing I want to do. And the paintball community mostly, and a few other groups are like, hey, check out these nerds playing airsoft. This guy must really like his dentist if he wants to give him all this business. So guard your teeth. Don't, don't be a numb nuts. Um, yeah. So guard your teeth. Guard your face. Guard well everything really. The safer you are, the more fun you'll have. I mean, it's one thing to be losing a few games and getting shot a lot, as another thing to be well losing some games and getting shot a lot, but also then missing teeth and having injuries to your ocular regions and you know so. Do that. Um, follow Thumpy if you don't. Thumpy is fantastic. There's also Super Tactical Airsoft News, which is uh, Stretch the Chicken. He's in London or somewhere in Britain land, which I've been assured is a real place. I've never been there, but people tell me it's there. And Stretch is getting photos of him at Cheeky Nando's. So I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. I'm just. I just want to drink my coffee today. This was my New Year's celebration, by the way. It, like, turned New Year's, and I just had, like, a can of coffee from a vending machine. She's like, yeah. Very well. Um, what else? Uh, plate carriers together. I really don't have anything else to add to the plate carrier. It's as finished as it's going to be. No future upgrades required. Belts for the grenades. 
I can add a few of the Matrix Long Boys to get us double the BB output. It'd be pretty cool. Necessary? No. <laughs> I've got eight magazines on my plate carrier. You tell me if I know what the difference between necessary and, ex and excessive is. I like ammo. I don't like... I hate running dry. You've ever run dry? In an airsoft game, you're there, you're like down to your pistol, and ping, ping, up, I'm out. There's five minutes left in the game, and it's respawn, so... I don't like reloading. Well, I don't like reloading magazines, per se. Taking clip into magazine. No. Taking a magazine into gun. Yes. Perfectly okay with that, so... There's that. Um, what else? Shotgun's gonna be fun. Upgrade parts. More grenades. Um, uniforms more or less together. I've kind of grown accustomed to my leopard print because Kimono Friends is a fantastic anime that got cancelled because some Japanese companies kind of suck. And they don't like other companies being successful. Well, parts of their company being successful. Their main project wasn't nearly as cool as Kimono Friends. And Kimono Friends had, uh, what was it? That's, I want to say Servitor, but Sa Saba, I don't know. And chick wearing leopard print. Leopard print's cool. Pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, I do have the actual G3 combat shirt on the way, so I'll be here. And yeah, so 2018 should be a fun year. I'll already be playing on the 18th, which is rare, because I think last year it took like two, three months before I was doing a game, so. Also, I've lost like 20 pounds-ish between the start of last year and this year, so dieting's good for you. I'd be working out more, but this cold and old age... You get slower, but you can compensate for that by being more well-educated and more skillful, so never quit. I've seen old people play airsoft. Some of them are a beast. Reggie. Reggie's our old man who's a beast on the team. He has, like, weird reflexes. Anyway, that's more or less the rant I wanted to do to welcome in the new year. And I'll be higher energy next time when I'm not sick and not leaving for work in ten minutes, because I like to... I wake up, I gotta get the kid ready for school, and then by the time it's time to start filming videos, I'm like, let me drink some coffee, let me warm up a bit. And then by the time I'm done doing all that, it's uh, almost work time, and then I'm filming, so. Yay. But yeah, I'll do some videos, I have stuff to review, reviews are fun, and then we'll actually get some gameplay in. And at some point, whenever I can get something on sale, I need to get a new... Contour Rome 2 or Rome 3. I'll mount that onto the right side of my riffle. And uh, when I'm shooting at things now, instead of the right camera not having the target on screen, because I'm usually hunkered in pretty nicely and providing a minimal target, I'll have the little gun camera, because if that gets shot, I'm not out. So I have a little gun cam, so I'm shooting around the left or shooting around the right. I can swap cameras in the video. And we'll have actual video of BBs flying around and impacting targets instead of just, oh look, here's my gun, pew pew pew, ha ha, got him. It's like, hmm, wish I could have seen that shot. Yo. So, new camera, new upgraded parts. Because, you know, why practice and get better at the sport when you can just buy more expensive gear? So, yeah, cheers, 2018. Chivalry. Um, do cool things, don't be a dick. Unless it's time to be a dick, then, you know, if people deserve it, then have at them. But if not, and you know, be cool. So, cheers. Stay chivalrous. I'll be around. I'll make uh, better official videos. But let's just uh, welcome in 2018 so far. And when this cold's gone, we'll do some real videos. Yay. Sound good? All right. Solid. Cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous, and I will see you next time.